Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn what is unit testing and specifically how you can do unit testing in .NET by using an unit testing framework. So let's start. In this first video, we will see some terminologies and then we will see what is unit testing. Uh, we know that what is manual testing. Manual testing means you test your features uh, manually. For example, you need to test a login screen and there are two fields, login and password and there is a button, login. Now you will uh, enter different login and different uh, passwords, correct and wrong, and you will click on the login button to see if login password is working or not. This is uh, manually done. What is automated testing? If we do the same login testing by writing our code, by writing our code mean we'll use some tool, we will write some code, and that tool will do these things entering the login, entering the password and clicking the button automatically, we will call it automated testing. So this is just one example of automation testing or UI automation testing where we are testing the UI behavior, uh, UI behavior by tool. So these are two examples, Selenium and Test Complete, which helps you in doing the automation testing and specifically UI automation testing. There are two uh, other categories of testing we may see here. Uh, one is uh, black box testing and one is one is white box testing. What is black box testing? A black box testing means uh, a tester does not know what is inside the functionality, what is happening inside uh, the block. A block means the point you are testing, right? So you don't know the internal structure, design, implementation, logic and you just uh, know what input and what output so you give different inputs and then you see if the expected outputs are coming or not and you make your decision based on that this is also called behavioral testing other type is white box testing in white box testing the des tester knows about the internal structure design and implementation of the item you are testing so in this uh, type the tester should have some programming background so tester will see will do the analysis of the code and will create his test cases and then he will write the code to test those uh, test cases uh, there are different names of this uh, uh, testing technique clear box testing open box testing glass box testing transparent box testing and so on there are two types of uh, white box testing the major types unit testing and integration testing now let's see what is unit testing as we have seen, unit testing is a white box testing. It means uh, in this type of testing, you need to analyze the code logic actually and see what is happening there. Uh, okay, so what is unit? Uh, unit means let's let's suppose we talk about OOP. In OOP, we can say a function in a class is a unit, right? So we need to test each function by providing its required input, and then we see the expected output is coming or not so this is simple uh, type of unit testing uh, normally we, we can do unit testing manually I mean we can write the code and run that code to see if the function is behaving correctly or not and norm but normally it is done automated automated mean we will use some tool we'll write our test cases and we'll click a button and the tool will run all the test cases with all the expected inputs and will check if the outputs are coming as expected or not and will give us the result in true or false fail or false that okay this function is passed this function is passed this function is passed this function is failed in that format so uh, what is benefit of doing the automated testing uh, the benefit of automation testing is that let's suppose you have now hundreds of functions and you make some change in some function uh, and you are thinking that this change may create ripple effects in other functions what you will do you will have to test all the suspected functions manually you will test each function manually either either by writing either by executing your unit test uh, each function you will have to separately call your function but if you are using automated approach you will click on a button and all the functions uh, will be tested on uh, uh, automatically and you will see okay uh, if any function is breaking or not breaking one important point to remember when you are doing unit testing is that you do the unit testing without considering external dependencies uh, what does it mean it means that if your function is using uh, if, if your function is dependent on something dependence something mean your function is dependent on database your function may be dependent on files system your fun or network uh, storage something else so you you need to test your function uh, without those dependencies now the question will come how if my function is using 
something uh, like database how I can exclude that dependency from my code should I need to comment those lines no no you if you will comment those lines uh, your function behavior will be changed so you need to write a write code in a way that that dependency should be replaceable right we will learn how we can do that using dependency injection concept so so when when you uh, do your development by considering the unit testing in your mind then you write a code in, in different style right you you consider these dependencies very seriously and you write the code in uh, in specific way uh, we we have different uh, unit testing frameworks so when you are you are going to have hundreds of uh, uh, functions and or units so you need some framework which will help you to uh, will help you in automating uh, the execution procedure so for example and unit is a very popular unit testing framework uh, specifically for dotnet applications there are a lot of other uh, testing fra unit testing frameworks available you can check on this link here so let's take an example to understand it better way so let's say this is the actual function you have written in your uh, in your application which takes some input and applies some conditioning and some other stuff and then returns some output now as a tester you will see this function you will analyze this function and you will prepare your test cases you can see that okay one test case is that you need to provide abc as input and expect 10 as output you need to provide xyz and expect 20 as uh, 20 as output and then uh, if, if you provide anything else you will get 30 and you can also s see that the user hasn't handled any exceptional uh, cases for example s is null so what according to the logic the function should uh, return 30 okay now what you will do as a tester you will write the logic uh, your, your unit test code like this one you will create the object of this class and then you will call this function and you will provide different inputs for example I'm providing ABC here and I'm expecting that the function will return me 10 so if function is returning 10 I'm just printing some output or I can store this value or some variable to see if function is passed or failed and I can also print an else statement the function is not working right so this is a manual uh, manual way of doing unit testing but we will also see how you can achieve this thing uh, using end unit and uh, run your test cases different test cases okay so this is example of unit testing uh, what is integration testing integration testing is similar to unit testing you test your functionalities uh, by providing the input and you expect m compare the output with your expected result and see if the function is working uh, as expected or not but the difference is that here you consider external dependencies so if you are worrying about uh, uh, worrying about that if we will ignore um, the external dependencies so how we are sure that our fun our application is working fine or not so uh, when f first you do unit testing and then you do integration testing so to test if uh, application is still working with external dependencies or not okay but because if you have if you have run unit testing uh, unit tests uh, before integration testing you can say that my function is functions logic is working fine but when you will run integration testing and if any, if anything fails it means that is because of external dependencies and then you can check the external dependencies separately okay so we'll start uh, uh, unit testing with any unit uh, in next video thank you